Hello children, how are you? Hope you are fine and safe. You would have completed your exam. Yes. Um, today we can see the plant lesson. As I told you earlier after your exam, I'll complete this. I told you no. This is a part one video. Observe the lesson carefully because this is a basic thing you should understand. In this lesson, we are going to cover identification of parts of the plant functions of different parts and then classify plants the based on their habits now the coming up picture you can see from your page number from your textbook page number 58 you can mark this first one is flower f l o w e r flower next one will be leaf l e a f you can mark children next one will be seeds s e e d seed yes and then fruit f r u i t the middle one is the stem s t e m and the last one is the root now, plants are nature's gift. A plant has many parts. Each part has a set of function to do. The basic part of a plant are roots, stem, leaf, flower, fruits and seeds. These are the basic plants which we have marked. Note that the thing. Let us understand various parts of the plant, their structure and function. First, we can start with the root. The root is a part of the plant that usually grows under the soil. We cannot see the root. When you dig the plant only, you can see the root. Now, different shapes. It may be of different shape and size. It grows away from sunlight into the soil. There are, that means the two types of root you can see. One is tap root and another one is fibrous root. One is tap root, another one is fibrous root. So the two different types of root system is tap root, fibrous root. T-A-P, tap, R-O-O-T, root. Fibrous, F-I-B-R-O-U-S, R-O-O-T. And then we saw different parts of the plants like leaf, flower, seeds, fruit, stem and root again i'll repeat children a plant has many parts each part has a set of function to do the basic part of a plant are root root stem stem leaf leaf flower flower fruits fruits and seeds stem means the middle part the middle thick part is the stem root you cannot see it lies under the soil. Leaf is eli. Eli. Flowers is poo. Fruit is param. And then seeds is vidaigal. Okay. So these are the different parts of the plants. Now, I told you about the root. No. Uh, actually, the function of root. What is the work? What is the work of the root? Root fix the plant firmly in the soil. If the root is not strong, the basic if uh, suppose uh, uh, the base of the root is not strong the plant may fall down that means the plant may fall down now we can see the different types of root system that is tap root and fibrous root first i'll go with tap root tap root has one main root Thick root, it grows from the radical and goes deep into the soil. Many small thin roots grow out from the main root. Plants such as carrot, beetroot, turnip, mango and neem have taproot system okay the which i have circled no that is tap root the center part is the main root and you can see the branches it, it, it look like in a thin way roma melisa so it is called sub roots uh, so now i have drawn c yes these are the side roots that means small thin roots which grow out from the main root so in tap root you have only one main root thick root okay now 
when you see the carrot b2 turnip when you take the uh, carrot you can see uh, some kuti uh, kuti roots small small roots come out of the carrot so that is the tap root system some root that is tap root like uh, beetroot turnip in all stores food in that so we can eat that root what are the roots we are eating a, as a food carrot beetroot turnip we are eating as a food that means it stores food in the root okay now we can pass on to the fibrous root the fibrous root consists of many thin roots of different size they grow from the base of the stem and all of them are bunched together they do not grow deep into the soil plants such as grass paddy wheat and onion have fibrous root so when you just try to pluck the tap root system uh, that means systematic plant like tap root you cannot uh, pluck them because they go deep they are so strong tap roots are but when it comes to fibrous root we can just uh, pluck it out okay now we can see the functions of root what are the functions fixation absorption storage of food fixation root fix the plant firmly to the soil as i told you earlier without the root a plant would fall on the ground absorption root absorb water and mineral required from the plant from the sorry for the plant from the soil okay storage of food in some plants root stores food example i told you know carrot radish and beetroot we eat the root so carrot radish and beetroot or a root it's a tap root so we are we are just taking in when you have a chance of getting uh, uh, carrot beetroot uh, and radish you just uh, take uh, take it in your hand and uh, observe it closely you can see small, some small small uh, roots coming out of it so it is a tap root only now we can uh, pass on to the next one a difference between tap root and fibrous root tap root thick main root that goes deeply into the soil that's why you cannot pluck it out fibrous no main root and the root do not go deep in the soil side roots are developed from the main root roots are developed from the base of the stem look like a long tap look like a bunch example tamarind and goa tamarind is a puli goa is a goya okay this is corn and sugarcane corn is cholam sugarcane is karmb all this you can refer in your textbook page number 58 and 59 functions of root and then uh, uh, warm up exercise also is there you have to do that and read this tap root and fibrous root take your book read a line by line then only you can understand children again i'll just repeat we can have a recap thick main root that is tap root it doesn't have any thick root it goes deep into the soil it doesn't go side roots develop but here side root does not develop from the main root only okay now what is this you know that only root grows under the soil in this plant that is vicinia plant have root above the ground if you have time you can go and google search this plant and look at the image of the plant the roots are above the ground yes really it's amazing one that's why they shared in do you know part thank you children for watching this